Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the uh, ballast install series. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and install and mount the pumps and run the plumbing to the pumps and then from the pumps to the bag. So let's begin. So here we go. I got my, my pumps mounted. I really didn't think I needed to show the video. Um, I ended up using deck screws instead of stainless steel screws just because they have pretty good bite. I mean, this is a wood panel right here. Do not get anything longer than an inch and a quarter. Anything longer than an inch and a quarter will come through on the other side and then you're gonna be poking into your bags. Uh, to do this, I had to take my blower. You can see where the originally was mounted. I just moved it back a little bit and it's still down there sucking up all the gas fumes and all that kind of crap. So this is where I plan on putting everything. Um, not sure which pump's gonna go to which bags yet, but they're mounted. We're gonna end up drilling some holes through this panel right here. And that's how we're gonna run the water into this bag. And then of course, we're also, it's gonna have a V. It's gonna come around through here and it's gonna go about the same thing into that bag down there. Um, to run the center locker bag, we're actually gonna come down through here. We're gonna run it, that's where the gas tank is. We're gonna run it underneath this gas tank and then boom into there, probably gonna have to drill another hole. I have my inch and a half hole saw bit, pretty much what we're gonna be using to drill all of our holes. And so now what we gotta do is we gotta run our hose from the back through this firewall, transom, whatever you wanna call it. So I've pretty much made my location. We're gonna go um, pretty much right where the camera's pointed, right there. I got these two hoses to index. We need to drill two holes. Since this is gel coat, I'm gonna drill it from this side. Um, that way I don't, I don't know, crack it on the way out. Nothing's really gonna see it, but still that's my point. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and that's it. Let's go look inside the uh, clean out hatch and show you kind of what that looks like. Um, this is my hose. I kind of got it mocked up showing how it's gonna go in here. It's gonna go through there and then through there and into that fitting. This one's gonna go through there and it's gonna come around too as well. And then these are our hoses that I was talking about going through the other side. So we're just gonna go up and above. Uh, we're gonna run them through roughly here and there. Um, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. The other option, if you didn't want to do that, um, underneath here, this is the end of the locker, and I don't know how else it's gonna pick it up. The other option that you could do is you could run this up through here. That wood panel right there, well, that's the back of, on the other side of that is where the uh, the ballast bag is. So you could drill a hole through that instead and, and run it up through there if you didn't want to go through this. Not too concerned about it. We've been drilling a shitload of holes anyway. Let's just continue. Of course, there's my that's my cable to my swim platform remote right there. All right, let's get these holes drilled. All right, there you go. So that's run all the way through. Got my excess here. Now I just gotta hook up the pump and in the back. And I'll show you the back here. And here's the back side. Now you notice I put this in a loop just because making that corner was gonna be a little sharp and I didn't wanna put a fitting. So I've just put a loop in it, that way it bends well. And then of course it goes right to the fitting. I'm gonna do the same for this one. I'm gonna bring it around, probably give it a loop. And we're just gonna go right next to it over there. And, or right above it, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna go get this one hooked up and trimmed and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, quick side note, heat gun. Heat this hose up, it'll make it easy. And then a little silicone. This will help you slide everything on, piece of cake. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. So, we got some pieces and some components here I wanna show you. So this is our fresh water coming in. This is a check valve that's gonna let water come in, into the pump, and then out to the bag. This right here is our discharge. As the water, as we flip this pump in reverse, this right here is the discharge. When we flip the pump in reverse, water's gonna come and it's gonna go out through here. 
That's why this check valve is this way and that check valve is this way. Water can only go this way and water can only go this way. It can't bring in water this way and it can't push water out that way. This right here is gonna run to our through haul fitting that we did in the previous video on the vents and that's gonna be our drain. And then this one right here is gonna go to the, to the bags. So we need to do this one more time for this pump and uh, we will be done. All right. So we have both of our fresh water pickups installed. Hoses are running. Of course the hoses curl around and then go into the hall right there. I think uh, this is gonna work perfect. If something happens, I need extra slack, I have it. And uh, it's just solid hose all the way from here to the fitting. So I'm gonna leave this all apart until um, the very end. So I'm gonna try to test out all of this, make sure we don't have any leaks. And, uh, and then we go inside, we'll show you inside the engine bay what that looks like. Okay, so we got everything ran, things hooked up, um, pumps are mounted. And as you can see, we got all of our connectors and fittings, everything is here in T's, is in the engine bay. I didn't wanna have anything past the firewall because that means that I have to take the uh, clean out hatch apart to get access. So I wanted all these, anything that just wasn't hosed, I wanted it all in here so I could service it in case something ever happened. So pretty much after this check valve here and that one there, it's just hose to the through haul fitting. So now what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run from here to our drains, um, to both of our drains, and, uh, and we're gonna do that. So here we go. Okay, so we're running a drain hose. Just like the uh, vent hoses, we're gonna run it down through here. Come behind the uh, seat and the helm, and then we're gonna meet in here. And then there you go, there's the end. Go in the last two of our fittings. We gotta do this twice for each pump. And uh, that's it. So let's go get this all connected and hooked up. I'm about to drill some holes right here. Probably, I'm just gonna go right here on this panel, which is this panel right here. And I'm just gonna drill a three because I'm gonna need two for my drains. So one coming out to that, one coming out. Sorry, you can't see none of that. Um, one coming to that pump, and then one going to the back pump. And then I'm gonna actually have to have another one because it's gonna be my fill for this bag right here. So we're gonna use our trusty inch and a, inch and a half pull saw bit. And uh, we're just gonna cut a, bunch of, cut a bunch of holes, three of them. Here we go. Okay, everything's ran. So there's our, our drain hoses running down through there. Down that way, if you can even see. And then into here. So everything's done for that part of it. So now we got the drain side done. So, just like when I was doing the vent line, I ran out of hose again. Uh, so I'm about to get more one inch hose to run the bags. I ain't got much left. And uh, I think I mean, really, all the hard stuff is done. Not gonna lie, my arms are like super cut up from fiberglass laying over the engine bay, but it's done and solid weekend to do this, solid weekend. You know, everything looks good. Everything looks good, everything's out of the way. I don't have, you know, a lot of people mount them on this side, but I just don't want you know, all my electrical's in here, and I ain't trying to run all my pipes and everything else. So, you know, I'm glad I went with this side over here, and I have a little bit more room. Alrighty, guys, so that concludes this part of the video. Um, stay tuned for uh, part whatever, and that's going to be running the ballast bags. We'll do the ballast bags and probably the electrical in that video. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Bye.